Okay, so now that we have our upper assembly complete, uh, it's time for the barrel. So essentially, just put in the barrel, there's an index pin that corresponds with the notch in the upper. Just get it all the way in there. Sometimes it's tight, uh, just use your bench to push down. Uh, sometimes you actually might need like a, like a dead blow hammer. If that's the case, I'd turn it upside down and just tap this part with your dead blow, making sure to not damage the crown in any way. Make sure the crown is on something soft. Remove the gas block. And then I like to apply this grease to both the threads and also this lip right here on the on the outside of the this, uh, barrel extension doesn't take much just get some on both those surfaces and then put it in your block and you take your barrel nut I like to carefully go over the top of the barrel and not touch it if possible till the very end. Thread it on until it stops by hand. So once you get it to where uh, it stops, take your barrel nut uh, wrench that we provide. And essentially I like to work it three times tight and loosen to kind of break in the threads on both the barrel nut and the upper receiver. And I'm just guessing I'm going to about 50 foot pounds and back. So after you've kind of seasoned the, the threads, you want to look and see where these, uh, where these screw holes are lining up. And essentially you want one set to be top dead center. That will put uh, two sets on each, a set on each side, and then one directly on the bottom uh, for your hand guard. It's a good idea if you're not familiar with uh, how much force you're putting into it to use a torque wrench, something like this. I think the range is 35 to 80 foot pounds, if I remember correctly. So essentially, what I do uh, is just make sure I get to the minimum of 35. And then I like to go to the next hole. Be mindful that you don't uh, use excessive force on the barrel nut because you can't damage uh, either the barrel or the upper receiver if you get, give too much torque. Again, we need to get one of these sets of screws to top dead center. And if you can just get it close, I'll show you a little trick later on to how to get it pretty exact. Uh, right now that looks pretty close to me so we'll go ahead and take it out of this and then install the gas block okay so it's time to put the gas block back on i have the set screw in there just a little bit pretty simple straightforward there is a divot in our barrel that corresponds to this set screw uh, i like to use a little bit of blue loctite right here so just put a little dab on there and tighten it up. I like to give it just a little wiggle to make sure I'm in the right spot. And then I just take it and look down uh, and try to make sure it's just on straight from my perspective turn around look at this way and then essentially this is a little Delrin block this is just some paper smooth jaw vise this is how I like to install the gas tube and the gas tube roll pin and the gas block roll pin 
uh, with the exception of if you have a piston link system, you will need to install the gas block with the gas tube in it already because there's no way to bend it in there. There's just not enough room. So uh, remember, if you have a piston linked gas system or shorter, there are potential shorter ones, then make sure you install your gas tube first before you put your gas block on. But essentially everything else, make sure you have the port towards the barrel. And then you just feed it in to where you could see the roll pin hole through that hole. Now these are some punches that I made. Essentially a roll pin punch holder. And let me get my hammer. If you don't have the proper roll pinch or roll pin holder, you can use just a little set of pliers. And they do actually make a roll punch holder. You see the hole at the end of it. Pretty simple. But I kind of made my own to where it's kind of bolt in one. So essentially I just like to get it started like that. And then use a solid punch to get it the rest of the way. This one's got a solid end. And usually if you could just barely feel it, it's about centered and we'll check that later on. And then same thing for our uh, gas block roll pin. I have a punch for that. And again, just get it started. And then use a solid punch to finish it. I like to set this, I don't know if you can see this, but I'll set it just on the outer half like this. And you're going to guesstimate about halfway and simply take it out and examine. See, I need to go a little bit farther. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, but the gas tube pin looks good. But we're going to go just a fuzz farther with the gas block pin. It looks pretty close. We'll roll with that. Okay, so I'll try to do it from this angle. I'm going to use the gas tube to tell me if I'm close to top dead center. As you can see, it's a little bit off and I need to go tighter, just a little bit. So what I'm going to do right now is break away from the camera and go get it set up to where it needs to be and then I'll show you again. Okay, so now I'm going to show you. Move the tube side to side and that's pretty dang centered. So we know that we're in a good spot with the timing of the barrel nut. So from here, we just need to install the actual handguard. Okay, so sometimes I like to use, if, if I'm uh, worried about scratching the barrel, I'll use something like this. Simply stick it over the barrel and thread the handguard over. I'm going to try to do it without today, just so you can see what I'm doing. Hopefully you can see this. Um, I've installed the anti-rotation pin in the, the handguard already. And it's a pretty tight fit in this one, so it'll stay. So essentially, you just go right over the top of everything. Try to be careful and not scratch anything. And then once you're started, just kind of wiggle it back and forth. A lot of times it's a pretty tight fit. Uh, what I'm looking for is to line up the anti-rotation pin that we have uh, with the upper. If your upper receiver doesn't happen to have one, you just leave that out. And then essentially I just force it down. If it's super tight, I'll use the dead blow. Just tap it on top. Oops, sorry about that. Just tap it on top. And I'm looking to make sure this, uh, these holes line up with the rail. Looks like, it looks like I need to go just a fuzz more. That looks pretty good. 
And then I simply sight down the rail, making sure the planes match. Sometimes I'll flip it around to myself. Feels kind of funny pointing the barrel at yourself, but I know it's unloaded, obviously. But anyway, get it lined up the way uh, you prefer. I prefer for it to be perfectly flat on the top of the rail. I think that's the way it should be. And then it's as simple as putting the screws in. And again, I'll use a little blue Loctite on the threads of the screws. I'm just mocking this one together, so I'm not going to go super tight. Uh, usually, at this point, when I have them just barely in, I'll do a certain order. Like, I'll tighten this one tight, then each side, and do the same for the top. And then the last thing I'll do is just take a look down and make sure that my gas block looks like it's perfectly lined up and everything looks good and in line, this one does. So we'll move on to the next step. The next step would be the muzzle device. 